Welcome back to another Workshop Wednesday with the IMAS. Today's video features a beautiful watercolor galaxy in honor of the 30th anniversary of NASA's Hubble Space Telescope launch aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery. This stunning new image called Cosmic Reef was officially unveiled to the public. The IMAS was one of only 74 organizations who were chosen after a rigorous selection process to display Hubble's 30th anniversary image. This banner will be exhibited on the outside of the IMAS building for a full year. We encourage you to come out, take a selfie, and use the hashtags Hubble30 and Explore IMAS for a chance to be featured on IMAS social media. For this project, you will definitely need some watercolor paper and watercolor paints of your choice. As you can see here, I planned for some metallic watercolors, but I learned through trial and error that it wasn't for me. You'll also need a cup of water, painter's tape or masking tape, and an old towel or paper towel sheets. This is optional, but I like to use a ceramic plate to mix my paints or a plastic palette only because I don't have enough room on my watercolor tray. You'll also need some paintbrushes, preferably one large paintbrush and one medium size. If you only have one size, no worries. For the stars, we'll need some white acrylic paint, which I like to use my plastic palette for. To apply the stars, you can either use a fine tip paintbrush or an old toothbrush. If you don't happen to have any white acrylic paint, you can also use white ink, a white gel pen, or a white paint marker. Let's go ahead and get started. For the first step, I'm going to tape down my watercolor paper at the edges with some masking tape. I found it easier to see through the masking tape than painter's tape, but both work wonderfully. You'll want about half of the width on the paper and half on a smooth surface. Be sure that the inner edges of your tape are pressed down well to your paper. Next, I like to prep my watercolor paints by adding just a bit of clean water to them to help soften them up and lift the pigment. For this project, we want to get a really good amount of that watercolor pigment to really make our painting stand out. Next, we're going to wet the full sheet of paper with our large brush and some clean water. I'd say let the water sit for a good 30 seconds and then add some more. We want enough so that your paper looks something like this wet but without any puddles. As we work on our painting, we want to make sure our paper is always like this. You can remove any puddles of water from your paper with a dry brush and blot it onto your paper towel. Now it's time to take a medium sized brush like this, wet it and pick up your first color of choice. Here, I'm starting with the color blue and sticking to the corners and edges, avoiding areas where I want my galaxies to be. Eventually, I want to go dark on my edges, but with watercolor, it's best to go from light to dark. Although I want to work quickly so that my paper doesn't dry too fast, I'm making sure that there's enough pigment in those corners. If you already have a good amount of water in your paints, go ahead and swirl it around well with your brush to lift that pigment and apply it to your painting. Try to avoid grabbing clear water and applying it on top of the color so it doesn't get washed out. For my painting, I'm going to do my best to recreate the Cosmic Reef image, so I'm going to separate those two colorful areas of orange and blue. Again, we want to add a good amount of pigment to the wet paper, so when grabbing more paint, make sure your brush is always wet but not dripping. Here, I'm ready to start adding colors to the galaxies, but before I do, I want to add a little more water to make sure the color spreads nicely. I'm making sure not to get my brush into the blue areas. I'm going in with some orange paint right on the inside of the blue and then slowly blotting outwards towards it. Don't be afraid of your colors mixing. Blotting will help give your painting a cloudy effect. For now, I'll be focusing on this larger galaxy since it has a lot of color. If you start going into a darker colored area, you want to avoid going back into a lighter area. To help blend the lighter area, I'm going to rinse my brush, give it a few taps on the paper towel so it's not dripping, 
and then go in and blend. Now I'm going in with some more orange to help make it brighter. If you happen to get a little dark paint in an area you don't want, rinse your brush well, dry it up, and then use it like a sponge to soak up that spot. Remember, we're going to want some vibrant galaxy colors, so be sure to pick up and blot some bright colors into the lighter areas. Now I'm ready to start darkening the space away from my galaxies. For me, this is going to be the blue area that I have set up. I've taken a great amount of red pigment and tapped it into the blue, which as you can see, turns into a nice deep purple. I'm going now into my second galaxy, starting with a clean wet brush in the center and then gradually moving out to the blue to help give it a nice gradient. Again, if you happen to get any spots of color in places you didn't intend to put them, you can always blot them off, blend them in, or just go with it. All galaxies are beautifully unique. Now that I've added some color to my galaxies, I'm going to switch back into focusing on the outside space. It's great to go back and forth in different areas in a watercolor in order to keep it from drying too quickly. I'm now taking some black watercolor I have separated in this little container. Since black has a very strong pigment, keep in mind that this will easily stain your paper once added, so try to be patient, slowly working it in. Now that I've made some black blots in my outer space area, I'm going to rinse my brush again and blend it starting from the inner edge moving out. If your paper is too wet, you might find that adding more water can fade out your colors. If this happens to you, just let it sit for a few seconds and then go back in with more color. In the meantime, continue blending where your galaxies meet the outer space. Now that you can see the areas of where your space is and your galaxies are, continue adding any additional colors to your galaxies. Make sure to wash your brush every time you change colors. Before letting your galaxy dry, you can take a piece of torn paper towel, bunch it up, and tap at the areas you want to lighten. This will soak up both water and pigment, so if you get any dark colors on there, you may want to use a new sheet if going into a lighter area, just like with your paintbrush. Now that this galaxy is close to done, I see that I want it just a little more vibrant, so I'm adding a bit of yellow and using a paper towel to help blend it in. Now coming back to my smaller galaxy, it's a little dry so again I'm prepping it with clean water starting from the center and moving out. This one I want to look a little like a ring or donut shape so I'm taking some of that original blue I used in the beginning and adding it to the center to create depth. I've now dried my brush and I'm using it like a sponge to soak up some of that pigment making sure it doesn't spread too much into the area that I want to keep light. I'm also going to use a piece of paper towel to help blend nicely, only blotting to the white ring. I'm going back to my first galaxy now that the pigments are starting to settle and just lightening up some areas. And now one last time, I'm darkening up the center of my second galaxy to create more depth using my brush again like a sponge to help it blend. Now I'm ready for it to dry to see my results. You can use a blow dryer if you like to help speed up the process. Just be sure to use a low heat setting and move around constantly to keep your paper from warping. Now that your painting is dry, you can decide on whether or not your galaxy painting is as vibrant as you like. I felt like mine could be more vibrant and even darker in some areas, so I'm going to repeat my steps. I'm starting off by wetting my entire paper again, but instead of spreading the water with my large brush back and forth like the first time, I'm going to blot the water on, making sure to wash my brush every time I go into a light area and a dark area. This part is optional, 
So if you do do this, just be sure to be patient, slowly adding water to your paper. Now that I've prepped my paper, I can now start adding pigment to my painting. Again, I'm starting with blue over my blue areas, and then purple over my purple areas. I'm also going to continue blotting any areas I feel may have been too dark. And now just to focus on my galaxy, a little more orange to make it stand out. And since I'm getting closer to the finish, I'm just going to deepen up the outer space areas with a little more blue and purple. My final step was to just go ahead and blot away any areas that I wanted to lighten up or any spaces that had a little too much water. Here's a close up of my paper once it finished drying. Now I'm ready for my stars. For this, I'm using a small amount of white acrylic paint and just a bit of water I've picked up using my toothbrush. You'll want the paint to be runny but not milky. This part can be a little messy, so I recommend removing the paper from your working area with the tape still attached and putting something you don't mind getting dirty underneath it. Prepare your toothbrush with the paint and hold it so that the bristles are facing down with a good grip on the handle. With one finger on the bristles, slide your finger down to flick the paint onto your paper as gently as you can. You can do this as many times as you like for as many stars as you please. If at this point you do not have an old toothbrush to use, you can always use the other options listed before. If you have any white spots that you don't want, you can take a clean dry brush and soak them up. Now that we're done, it's time to gently remove the tape, which I find to be the most satisfying part. And here we have this Cosmic Reef inspired watercolor galaxy. Thanks so much for joining me today in celebrating Hubble's 30th anniversary image. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you create a watercolor galaxy of your own, we'd love for you to share your work with us by tagging iMassMuseum and using the hashtag iMassArtist. Visit our website at theimassonline.org for more information on how the museum plans to continue celebrating.